So Robbie, first game this weekend, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I feel really good. I'm just um, yeah excited to get back out there after you know obviously missing the first half of the year and um, yeah excited to play with a couple of players that I haven't played with before and um, yeah hopefully try and get our, our second win for the season. You faced some personal challenges this year. Can you give us a bit of an insight as to what the last four or five months have been like for you? Oh, it's obviously had its challenges. I guess um, obviously I went in for surgery to remove a tumour from, from my kidney, which when you're sort of fit and healthy, you don't sort of expect you're going to go through that. I think last year, I, I think it might have been after the Hawthorne game or something, I just had a scan on, you know, my ribs and stuff and it was just incidentally found and we thought it was a cyst at the time. So I just had a follow-up scan six months after and um, yeah, I guess they just changed their opinion on, on what it was and the amount of support I've had from everyone here at the club and outside of the club supporters, past players, past coaches, like everyone, it's just been overwhelming and yeah, I'm really sort of grateful for that. And you have been building towards a return for quite some time now. How, how motivating was it to tick off each marker along the way? Yeah, it's just another challenge and um, I was excited about trying to push myself and get back as quick as I could and I've had a really good run and had no sort of setbacks or anything like that. So I was actually really fit going into surgery so I didn't have any symptoms or anything so I was probably as fit as I'd ever been really. So I had a really good base to sort of to build off again. So after a couple of weeks I sort of got stuck into it and unfortunately for the group but fortunately for me there's a few of us in rehab so it was really good to sort of spend some time with them and push each other in rehab and there's some good boys in there that are going to learn some really good lessons like Flynn and Charlie about what it takes to sort of become a good AFL player and I think that their time in rehab is going to set them up really well for the future. As you touched on a lot of guys in rehab there but how exciting has it been for you to see from the sidelines the likes of Benny Mackay, Jack Diebel really hitting their stride particularly in the defensive line? I guess it's been frustrating in one aspect that I can't be out there helping him but um, it's been really enjoyable watching him over the you know, through the first 11 weeks of the season. The development of Jack obviously going back and for the first time and playing there and obviously Bucket's having an amazing year and really sort of stemmed from his year last year and he's just carried it over and improved again. But also just the younger boys, I think Charlie, Will, Tommy Powell, there's a few that are just floating through and, and if you sort of watch where they were at the start of the year to now, they're showing really good improvement. Yeah, I think that everyone can see the process that we're trying to do. Hopefully we can convert that into to a few wins in the back half of the season, but um, obviously just super pumped to get out there and, and play with blokes I haven't played with, but also just play with um, blokes that I've built relationships with over the, you know, the last 14 years. It came up in the coaches Q&A that we put out earlier this week that you were quite involved still in the off-field side of things, helping players, working really closely with the defensive unit. How important was it to still have that role to keep you in the loop, I guess? Oh, it's really important. I'm obviously an experienced player and yeah hopefully I can sort of teach some of the boys a few things along the way but yeah I think it just for me even to just stay involved as much as you can I think there is a little bit of separation between the rehab and the and the playing schedule at times so um, yeah you just got to stay involved and I think all the rehabbers do that really well I think um, yeah we've built a really good I guess culture here in terms of everyone in the meetings and everyone having their say and that sort of thing so it's um it's going really well. Well Robbie thanks for sharing your story with us and we wish you all the best for this Sunday. Beautiful, thanks so much.